get right into it. There we go. Yeah. Hey, Bean. How's it going? People are banning Prowler all over the place. It's kind of funny. It is being as of last night. Mutants were tempting, but I think this is my better call. I don't know. Okay, here we go. That's impressive. My prowler's been banned more than I would thought, or more than I would think. Haven't gotten to play with him just yet. I'd love to have grabbed Photon there, because I'm not sure that our defense will quite hold it down, but I think this was the right call. Really not happy with this draft. Hey, Xeno. Start here. Okay.
Dang it, I forgot they were close enough to energy protection. Okay, that's unfortunate. That was not great. Uh, definitely don't feel like a slacker, easy. On top of you having stuff to do, we got plenty of time. Welcome, Blizzard. Jack. It was definitely important to win that round. Yeah, here comes the Killmonger. We're basically hoping that the rank 3 factor in inequity slows them down enough for us to get rolling. We'll see. Nah, Miguel, just after uh, energy protection. Oh, sh come on, dude. You're just failing all over the place. I mean, it definitely could have been worse, but that would have been a lot faster if I had remembered how to play Black Cat. Uh, grr. Okay. Rank 3 Havoc is coming in handy. Hey, Mike. Uh, Prowler can handle Sassy well, but Despair isn't going to be a big part of it because Prowler has almost no debuffs. Oh, Santi, Optimus. You know, maybe that shouldn't have been Hulkling. Maybe that should have been Mysterio.
I also might need to swap another science champ into my deck because I feel like they're just not showing up in drafts. But maybe I'm just profoundly unlucky here. Prowler does apply ruptures, but that doesn't mean they're debuffs. We got uh, Prowler mostly uses passives, and passives do not benefit from despair. Hey, well. Okay, spam is an easy pickup. Don't want to die to Mangog. Shocker for Bishop. We're kind of relying on Killmonger and Skull to hold down the fort. We do have Hulkling. I think this draft went okay. <laughs> yeah, he does have that effect, Santi. Not surprised by that. I think we do this. Hey, Devil Dog. No, it is not meant to work on one eye open, Ninos. Because that's not like deals X damage, that's damage is reflected. The goal there is to change the rule of the fight. Shocker's great, Mike. Should have done a couple lights there. There we go. Come here. That was almost perfect. I definitely could have played it a little bit better early. Hey, Madrox. Do I know if Onslaught's Neuros are bugged? Probably not, because sometimes when I'm running, he doesn't place the Neuros every one second, but sometimes he does. Oh, Recoil? I don't think so. I haven't run into that before. I can check for it. I haven't looked directly at his code. But you're the first person to mention that, and there are some very heavy recoil users in the CCP, so I would be surprised. Jabari is a good pool or a good pull, DJ. I don't I cannot separate those two words. Pull and pool are go right back and forth for me, and it's very frustrating. Yeah, Jabari is a good pull. I got one last night and was quite happy with her. She's just one of she might be the most underrated character in the game. Like, people like asking me that, and it's so difficult to measure what's underrated because you're like, your impression of who is rating what is so dependent on who you hang out with, digitally or otherwise. But Jabari and OG Spidey are definitely two that come to mind as just consistently underrated. 
Morning, William. <laughs> That's funny, Beb. Come on, buddy. Do it. Do it. Close. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. I had dope passed on one the other night from the Nexus. I mean, I'm not saying everyone has to like her, but I just... Yeah. I think she is very consistently underrated. And I think... It doesn't really surprise me that Lags likes her because I think one of the mo one of the biggest reasons that she is so underrated is that people see small health pools and just like freak out and run screaming the other way. This character is very powerful, but what if I get hit? Have you considered that their kit might make you better at not doing that? She's not for everyone, but calling her bad is just wild. It's one of those things where it's... I, I've said this before about Killmonger um, in relation to Tigra. Obviously, Killmonger and Tigra are very different champions. But the point is that Tigra is someone who's accepted as having a very high skill ceiling. And so people say Tigra's not for me because they know that they haven't mastered her. But there are a lot of champions in this game that have certain skill ceilings or have certain knowledge um, knowledge requirements. Like there's a complexity ceiling to them. And so people haven't figured them out, haven't mastered them. But they don't extend the same benefit of the doubt. Because, well, yeah, sure, Tigra, I just don't know. This character is bad. Or... Morbius is good, but his damage reach is a little rigid, Mike. I think that's kind of the big thing. I don't know. I'll probably take him to rank 2 at some point, because mine is now double duped, but... I think the thing for me with Morbius is that my deck is developed enough that he doesn't feel like a natural include in it. He's really good now that I've learned to read. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome, William, the soccer. Okay. Zemo feels like an easy no. Is there a CGR in here? Yup. Hmm. Probably the Mantis. I think it's the Mantis. Everyone is indeed stacked at the moment, Robert. You're not wrong. Ooh! I haven't played Prowler since his playtest, so I'm probably about to mess this up. But... We gotta try. Hey, Snoops. Okay, I'll grab Onslaught. I really need to figure out the Onslaught Bullseye matchup. I know it works. I have not figured it out yet. Gladiator, Null, Cersei just pulled Vox. Are they all awakened, Masakre? That's a nice list.
wouldn't have minded the domino either. Let's see. Uh, we don't really have an onslaught counter. This draft is terrible. I don't think my deck is incredible at the moment either, but like, just, yeah, this did not go the way we needed. Need to put a relic on Prowler? Indeed I do. Thank you for the reminder. Because I kind of need to save some things. Risking it for the biscuit. I don't think I needed to do that. I probably could have won baiting out this special too, but I was feeling spicy. Oof. One day for you, Phil. <laughs> How valuable is Scorpion's Awakening for questing? I don't think super valuable. Um, it's a nice little bit of sustain, but mostly in PvP matchups because you're relying on willpower, right? The Awakening only really matters in questing if you're facing somebody who regens. All of them unduped? I mean... I think I just gave my endorsement for rank 3 Gamora right now. <laughs> Out of all of them unduped, I think I might lean Gladiator, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Dude, I cannot parry him lately. That is not the first time.
I really need to get better at that matchup. Is Gamora in need of the Awakening? I mean, not for what you just saw me do, because you're only using God Slayer once when it ends the fight. But I do value it decently highly. It comes up more than you would think. That makes no sense, Jackson. I'll take a look. Do I think Thing is worth ranking up nowadays with all these crazy attackers? Um... It depends on your deck and situation. If you have a smaller deck and need a defender that forces counters, then sure, a six-star thing is interesting. I think as you get further up, then you probably want a seven-star thing, because I think specifically block pen um, starts to mess with some of his counters. I've seen people disagree and say resistance to make him tankier, but in my opinion, that's not really the thing. Um, I don't know. I'm not super confident in this opinion, but my suspicion is that chipping down your Tigras and your Black Cats is more important than resisting like 3% of their physical damage. But I would want him minimum sig 20, and ideally 60 or higher. Hey, Will, thanks so much for the super chat. Finished 8.4, took up Dragon Man to rank 3 for Valiant. Nice! That's a cool one. Sauron, Jackson said incinerates as well. That's why I marked it down. I'm aware that Onslaught only has the shock incinerate plasma cold snap, cold snap claws, not bleed. But if he's saying it's not working on incinerates and shocks, then I need to look at that. If Jackson is saying incinerate and shock, but only looking at bleed, then yeah, he's wasting my time. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, Tilapia. Put Falcon in my deck. <laughs> If I get a mutant 2-3, it's going to Sauron. I respect that. I'll probably take mine to rank 2 before too long. There are a number I've been thinking about. It's always down here. You get out of here too. And then probably Herc. Honestly, I don't blame our opponent. Pretty big advantage there. No, Sauron, if you're going to correct me on my correction, please read the chat back. There is a message where Jackson tagged me and specifically said bleed, shock, and incinerate. I promise you I am not making up words.
Would I rank three unduped Hulkbuster, duped Penny, or go get the Stark? I would take up Penny and be pretty happy about it, personally. Um, definitely nothing wrong with either of the others. But I like Penny. Oh, yeah, that is your phone, Ashish, honestly. Unfortunately. Like, yeah, I have run into that with Dust on one of my playtest devices. I just, like, can't really use her. My drafts are going really, really poorly. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Um... I am glad I took Toad, because I just knew Zemo was coming. Thanks, Jackson. I think someone doesn't know that Electro's damage scales with class relationships and or thinks that energy damage is the same thing as non-contact. I think it has to be one of the things that I said walk. I, I think they're mistaken on it. At least one of those two. That's better than I expected by a pretty good margin. Like, obviously, if the dots kill and... Excuse me. Then you don't have to hit as much, but I'm surprised they got that many buffs up to convert. That's impressive. You must be very proud. Yep. Saw that one coming. Um... I really don't know what to do here.
Jesus, I hate that they can do that. Like, if not for us getting... That w it didn't even feel like a sidestep. That was just she dashed back, and then a m she backdrafted me. That's what happened. <laughs> that would have been a really pretty fight if not for that. The, the Vade lined up perfectly and everything. <clears throat> Sorry for getting tilted. Hey, John. Afternoon. And, like, I think you can probably tell, but to say it out loud, just in case, the AI is not planning to backdraft, right? We did not teach it to backdraft. I'm sure people seriously think that. That's not what happened. That's just tinfoil. But what's going on there is that it's the same problem as everywhere else, that the AI right now can just react too quickly. And so they dodge backwards... They finish the part of that animation that they're locked into, and then they have to make a decision, right? Because now it's like, all right, I'm no longer locked into this animation. I can decide what to do next. Let's take a look around and, oh, my opponent is dashing at me. When they dash, they're vulnerable, so I can attack them. Let's see, how far away are they? Oh, cool, light attack. And they're just able to do it in that, like, Super Saiyan reaction speed mode. That's what the problem is. It's not that we taught them to backdraft. It's just that they are too quick right now. And so changing that systematically without breaking the game is something we do have plans for, but it is not easy. And so until then, I will just be angry. <laughs> Uh, I'll get to you in a second, AMK. Okay, so backing up to Fel's question. I know you're not trying to get me in a gotcha, um, but I kind of have to spend some time on this because the word explored there is throwing some assumptions on the question that I want to kind of disabuse because you say, has it been explored, right? Past tense. If I say yes, without any further context, then the assumption is that we looked at it and decided it wasn't important or wasn't worth it and then discarded it and so it's not going to happen unless something major changes. If I say we're actively exploring it, then people assume it's right around the corner, right? And I don't want to get hopes up on that either. If I say that it's like something that's been explored but something we want to do but aren't doing right now, then the assumption is maybe that it's really difficult or like blah, 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 or that we've decided it isn't important. And I just, I want to put all of that aside because game development is really complicated. <laughs> and you can be actively looking at something like that on an engineering level for like years while you're also doing other things. Um, so what I'll just say is that it's come up, it is something that is interesting, but it is a relatively low impact change and is definitely not right around the corner. Those things I think I can also, like, it's a low impact change as far as there aren't that many people who would truly benefit, um, but it's a significant amount of engineering time. And that's not a hard reason not to do something, but it is a reason to be cautious of doing something. 
Alright, AMK. I'm having a tough time choosing a class for my 7-star class crystal. From both Mutant and Science, I have a 60% chance to get something I want, and I don't have good rank-ups in either class. Um, did you already... Op like, is your 2-3 to three gem already spoken for, AMK? Do you have more catalysts of one or the other? I know, Walk. A lot of people think that we are, like, intentionally programming in these patterns to the AI to make it feel worse. And that's why I spend time on this, because if I sit down and explain it, then you realize we don't have to. We don't have to teach the AI to see, or to, like, see the Matrix. All that's necessary is that the game has become faster and cleaner. And so moment to moment, every time they come out of an animation, they are able to make a, what should I do next, call at super speed, and that's the problem. <laughs> hey, Vega, thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Michael. No one thinks at all. I know it's just in my head, but when I was completing 8.4, I had a frustrating amount of missed intercepts where it felt like my light attack just fell short and then I got hit in the face. Depends on who you're using, but there are definitely some champions where their animations just lead to that, John. I was... what was that? I was using Absorbing Man versus I-Bomb last night, and I went for the light intercept out of instinct, I think literally six times after I got hit in the face. Because I was just like, but I timed it right. I keep timing it right. But I know that his little punch is kind of coming in just below I-Bomb's head. And so it's like his medium is hitting me above my punch. And that's just like a complexity of the game that's probably a net good thing. Because it means that there's like variation and fidelity to our actual character models. As opposed to just like you know, two boxes running at each other. But it does lead to some frustration like that, for sure. Hey, Tommy, welcome. Hey, Nan. My two to three has been used. I have equal <laughs> in science gallus. Oh, of course you do. Um, then my rough recommendation would be science, because while I think people are overstating the inequality in the seven star classes, I do think it's fair to say science is the strongest. Hey, Joy, how's it going? It has been a while indeed. I enjoyed 8.4 quite a bit. It was Absorbing Man? Okay. Then yeah, it's very possible. Like, his light is quick, and it has good reach, but it doesn't have insane reach, right? It's not future Ant-Man, and so that can get you into some trouble. All right. It makes me so angry that someone this random and cavalier with their sig stones has one of my kids and I don't. Life is not fair. Hey, Titan. Yeah, that all makes sense, not. Nah. Still doing it with a mystic is wild.
I clicked Black Cat three times before that took, and that was spooking me. <laughs> Would still love to see my Shocker, but we'll see. <laughs> When's my next toy? My next character's in July. Shocker and Prowler, a wealth of choices. Gotta try the new one out. Is that why I banned him? I mean that, and because it's a very large duped serpent. That is an annoying amount of health loss for Black Cat. Let's see how much he lost. I mean, Prowler Medium Medium works for Electro, but Black Cat doesn't work for anyone else, and they have an onslaught. This felt like the right opportunity cost for me. Three Kashala, Ascended Kate, Absorbing Man, Photon, a rank two do Photon. Jesus. Nice, Michael. That's exactly what I was thinking, Nah. Like, Titania can take this, but at this point, it means that Superior Rage triggered, and they're in trouble. Yeah, that's about what I expected. It's like 47, 48. Yeah. <laughs> or this. Nothing in between. I don't know how to do this fight yet. Let's see. Oh, I... Jesus, I am out. Out of practice. Way out of practice. I know this isn't ideal. Ooh. What?
Um, my inputs are slowing way down. From the moment I said what, when I definitely backdrafted and Prowler didn't do anything to getting hit with that, like, none of that went right. At the end. I, I'm not accepting full blame there. But I can get better at that because the biggest mistake I made was I did not push him high enough to get any power creep charges for my first special two, and then I can get better. My normal onslaught experience. Right? It's just like, it's... Ugh. You're like, I know how to fight Onslaught. And then something happened. <laughs> God. It's like, no, Onslaught's perfectly... Er, Onslaught's very counterable if you just do... Oh, whoop, that didn't work. Ah, grr. It's a personal problem, but it's frustrating. So coming back a little bit to the AI, it's basically becoming too smart for its own good? No, that's the thing. It's not smart. The AI is becoming too fast for its own good. Like, think about it... You know, I'm sure we've all seen, like, martial arts movies or superhero movies or something like that, where it's just... If you are exi if you are perceiving time at super speed, and your opponent is trying to punch you... Like, think about, like, maybe the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie, right? It's just the punch is coming in slow motion. You go... Huh, why wouldn't I punch them in the face? I have the time. Like, you don't have to be smart. You don't have to be skilled. You, they're, all that you have to do is have the time to go, oh, they're vulnerable, and then hit them in the face. And that's what's happening right now, because they are faster than us. Like, humans have reaction time, and at the moment, the AI doesn't. Yeah, I was also confused by our opponent not using Kashala for Maestro. It's hard to say, Jackson is better in some ways, worse in others. If you fight Onslaught properly, though, you never actually get the Daunted on yourself, which is hilarious after that Prowler fight I just had. Um, but if you fight Onslaught properly, then you never get Daunted on yourself, and so the extra Daunted potency doesn't matter that much. And so, while I would say a Sig 200 rank 6 is probably better than an unduped rank 2, I think the unduped rank 3 wins. Also, I'm just going to roast some people on Reddit a bit. I can't believe people are complaining about this buff to solo rewards. This is so easy to get to the end of if you're playing a lot and you get, you know, Titan shards and all of these seven star shards. Plus everything else you get from Battlegrounds. The upgrade is nice. That's all. Had to take that shot. I haven't had anything like that, though. I've said before, Jackson, like, was, we have plans to address the quick reaction stuff, but it's not an easy fix. Like, you basically have to rewrite the way that the AI makes decisions. And that is something that we bluntly can't focus on right now for reasons I'm not really allowed to discuss. Um, but it is on our medium term, term radar, and then it will have to be betaed pretty extensively. Oh, I did see your question on that earlier, Aiden. Thanks for repeating. Um, Cosmics with armor break, it's... 
The short answer is yes, there's a reason. I'm not saying that it's a reason that means we won't see it again, but like Armor Break was kind of saturated, right? As far as frequency of armor break, you have someone like Medusa, right? Strength of armor break, you have someone like CGR. Easy access to armor break, CGR kind of comes to mind as well. Um, Arcus does it without touching the opponent. Null has probably the most individual armor breaks. Like, the space is very saturated. And... So building a new cosmic with armor break, it's like, is the armor break incidental? If it's incidental, do I need it in the kit, right? Probably not, so maybe I'll go for something else. If the armor break is important to the kit, well then, how does it compare to previous armor break champions? And it's not that that's an insurmountable problem, but it is a problem. And so that's one of the reasons that you've seen um, more Cosmic Champions recently still care about getting through armor, but doing it in other ways, like with Pierce or True Damage or Dots. We'll have more. It's probably about time for another Armor Break Cosmic. Um, but that's basically why. Nice, Bricks. That's awesome. Yeah, it definitely was fairly um, abrupt. I'll give you all that. Okay, I know this was a short stream, but um, I'm hungry and I've streamed a lot lately, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. But I will see you all soon. Thank you, everybody, so much for hanging out. And yeah, catch you later.